Well now I'm heading up Longwell Street. I've just left like the main, uh, what was that street? Oh, I forget wherever I got off the bus. Yeah. God. They sure knew how to build them back then, didn't they? With these old buildings and these walls. So now I'm heading up this road and a couple of more streets after this because I'm heading to a, another old um, church stroke cemetery. Holy well cemetery, in fact, to go and visit Kenneth Graham, who wrote Wind in the Willows or Toad in Toad at Toad Hall. I think that was another title that was used by depending on which country you're in. So yeah. See you when I get there. this was overgrown they weren't kidding were they right now let's hope I have some better luck than the other graves I was finding but at least I think this one fingers crossed will be easier to navigate That's a tree and a half. Right, let's get hunting.
What do you know? There it is. So yeah, literally, you just come through the back entrance. To the beautiful, full, to the beautiful memory of Kenneth Graham, father of Alistair, who passed. Who passed the river on the Ju on July nineteen fifty two? leaving childhood how about that that was a completely unexpected yeah there's a map there of um well-known people that are on here yeah this this man is actually was a member of the Incas so he was another friend of C.S. Lewis, Cecil, Tolkien. Do you know what considering how old this headstone is it's actually looking pretty good. Oh you must still have family that come down here or, or fans that have come and planted these so ha, how about that that's another expected. Yeah, it's literally, it's like the cemetery has just been completely abandoned. God, it is almost like walking into Narnia in a funny kind of way. Yeah. I just had to duck out for a few minutes it just had a quick shower it seems so yeah so if you think this headstone looks a bit darker that's why so, yep that's Kenneth Graham it's just so sad that it's so hard to read so yep so that's it for me in Holy Wells Cemetery it definitely is a bit of a a ruin but still very beautiful bye bye